What's up YouTube, we're back with another video. I'm Brandon, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can schedule and send bulk emails from Google Sheets all for free. So we have the spreadsheet you see in front of us with some emails and specific information relevant to each individual email. And we also have a schedule column here, which is when our emails are going to be sent out. So we have two scheduled for today and one for tomorrow. So if I go to the second tab, we can look at the template email that this is going to send to each of our recipients. And the curly braces represent the individualized information that is gonna be inserted into this email for each of the recipients. So I'll go back to our main tab here and I'll go to Automailer, send emails, and with that, we will send out two emails that are scheduled for today. And if I go to our temp email address that I've set up here, we should get an email in our inbox very shortly. Click on that and we can see that the information for this particular customer has been inserted with their relevant information. So we're gonna spend the rest of the video setting this up. I hope you're excited to get started because I sure am. So we'll jump right in. So here we are in a blank document and we'll begin by setting up the format that the email script expects to receive information. And the important thing here is that the first three columns are in the exact order that we lay them out here. So the first column will be the email that we're sending to. The second will be the date that we're sending the email. So when we're scheduling that email to be sent. And then lastly, we need the subject for the email that we're sending everybody. And you can customize this to each recipient if you'd like. All that matters here is that the order of these three columns is in the order that we've laid them out. And you can label these columns whatever you'd like. They don't need to be these labels in particular, uh, but as long as the information is in the same order, that's all that really matters. So I'm gonna color these gray to represent the fact that these are static columns that we shouldn't change the ordering for. And then we have a lot more freedom then to insert the variables that will be inserted into our template email that we're sending everybody. And we can include as many variables as we'd like for the purposes of this demo. I'll start with three. So I'll start with a name, a confirmation number, and then lastly, a delivery date. And so these will be our three variables that will be inserted into our template email. I'll go ahead and color them blue to represent the fact that they are variables. And we can again include as many as we'd like and they can represent any information that we'd like. So the only other element we need here is going to be our template itself. And I'm gonna insert that into cell A1, which is where our script is going to expect to look for our template. I'll copy that over from the demo that we just went over. And for the template itself, there's a couple things to know. So these curly braces are where each of the variables for each recipient are gonna be inserted. And so this curly brace here represents the first variable and so on and so forth. So the ordering of the variables will matter because it will insert the name first, the confirmation number second, and the delivery date third. So that means when we are putting this email together with the script at least, the first curly brace will be the name, the second one confirmation, and third delivery date. You can include as many variables as you'd like. Once again, the thing that's important is that the number of curly braces matches the number of blue columns that you have. So the only other thing we need in order to get this running is a test email to make sure everything is working properly. And I'm gonna set this up here with one I've already created. And you might wanna set this up for your own so that you can receive the email and make sure everything's formatted properly. But I would recommend starting with one email. You don't wanna send this to your entire list just to test everything out. So now we have everything we need to get started and begin to include the auto mailing functionality that we're looking for. In order to include this functionality, I've already set up a script that you can go ahead and copy from GitHub. And there's a link to this specific page in the description below. So just go ahead over here, copy the contents of the script below, and then we'll go back into Google Sheets, open up our app scripts from extensions here. And then once we're inside of app scripts, we can get rid of the template function that it provides just so it's a blank document. We will paste what we copied from GitHub and then save this. And then now the only thing with the script that we really need to understand is that the tabs for our contacts and our email body are the same as what we have listed here. So sheet one and sheet two. And right now that is the case. So it's sheet one and sheet two is where our email body is. And I'm going to go ahead and change these because you can change these to whatever you'd like. It just matters that they match what is in the script there. So I'm gonna say this is email body. And then now we'll go back to our script and make sure that this matches. So we had contact list and then we have email body and now these match. And so we wanna make sure that that's really the only requirement here is that those things match. And so now we can save this 
And then once we do, we can click run to make sure that we have the permissions enabled in order for our script to access our Google Sheet. And when we run this the first time, there will be an authorization required and we'll need to review the permissions so that the script has access not only to the Google Sheet, but also to send emails as whatever email we're logged in as. So whenever you send emails from this Google Sheet, it is gonna use your email address that you're logged in with. So that's something to keep in mind. I'll go ahead and click the email that is associated with this account. And then we can see the permissions that it's asking for. So it's asking to send emails as you, which shouldn't be a surprise because this is an email script. And then it's also gonna ask for access to the spreadsheet, which the permissions are quite extensive. It's uh, a little alarming, I would say, but I wrote this script and there's nothing that's gonna happen with regard to your other spreadsheets, I can assure you, as long as you copied the script from the link provided in the description below, all it's gonna do is take the people that you've put in your contact list and send them an email and that's it. So I'm going to allow this permission to take place. And then now down below, we can see the execution has completed. And so we are ready to start sending emails now. So I'll go ahead and go back to our Google Sheet here, and I'm gonna jump out of Google Sheets really quickly and get back into that sheet. And then now, once we do that and everything loads, we will have a new option that's gonna pop up here in the top option bar, and this is gonna be auto mailer. So we can actually send emails directly from here. So I'll go ahead and send out our first email, which is scheduled for July 29th, which is today. And once we do that, it, everything should send properly. So we can see that one email was sent successfully. And then if I go back to our temporary email address, we should see that there is now a second email in our inbox, after some time at least. There we go. So here's our second one. And again, we get the information that we expect. Everything is populated appropriately and we are good to go. So now that we have everything set up properly and it's working as we expect, we have a couple different options for sending out emails each day. The first of which we've already seen where we can go back into Google Sheets every day, select auto mailer and then send emails, which is a little cumbersome. So if you'd like to automate this behavior, what we can do is go back into app scripts and then go to the left hand side and click triggers, add a trigger. And then here we wanna choose a function to run. And for this purpose, we have send emails as the function we want. And then we're gonna select the event source here, which right now it's selected from spreadsheet. We want that to be time driven. And then we wanna change our timer to day timer. And so this is gonna allow us to send out uh, these emails automatically every day, at least the ones that are scheduled for that day. And so we can choose also the time every day that this function will run. Let's say early in the morning, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then now this function will run automatically and send out emails to all the emails that are scheduled for that day. The other thing I wanted to point out is that since we are using a personal email address for sending out these emails, as I mentioned earlier, this is gonna send from your email address that you're logged in as, there are some limits that we need to be aware of. So if we go to the documentation for app scripts, we can see that there are some uh, email recipient limits per day. And if you're on the free or consumer Gmail account, that'll be 100 per day. If you're on a workspace account, that'll be 1500 per day. So we wanna make sure that you don't go over your limits uh, because that can lead to issues with you being able to send out emails from your personal address as well. So first thing I wanted to point out. The second thing is the with regard to the variables. So I did have an issue where when I was inserting a date that the date was not being read properly by the script that was sending out emails. And in order to circumvent that or, or to solve that problem, uh, what we can do is just select all the columns that are your variable columns and then change the format to a plain text format. And then that will make sure that everything sends out appropriately. And that's really all you need to know in order to send out bulk emails from Gmail. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any feedback or questions, please leave a comment. I'd be happy to respond below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.